Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're doing another Let's Create in Spore. This time we're going to be going on one of your suggestions which was BB-8 from the new Star Wars film. So let's just get straight into it. Today we're in the economic vehicle creator. Now I don't actually think it matters which one of these for this build specifically you go for. You could go for a military one or whatever because we're not really going to use any of these sort of economic specific items. But what I'm going to try and do is replicate BB-8 as best as we can. Now BB-8 is sort of constructed of two major parts. He's got his main body which is a sphere and then he's got his head which is kind of like a half sphere. A sort of dome on the top of his sphere. So we're going to go for a big circle like this and we're also going to make this very slightly bigger like that. Now I'm not going to change this too much, we're going to use a lot of tools to try and make the main body look as close as I can. Obviously it's very difficult with patterns in Spore to get them bang on what they are in real life, but we're going to give it a good go. And it's going to be using these, and you might be like, how the hell are they going to work, Parky? They don't look like they'd fit onto this thing whatsoever. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do something moderately clever. Oh yeah. And it's going to be something like this. And we're going to bring this out just a smidgen like that and then bring this up like so. Now how does that look? First of all it's too big so let's just undo that. It's going to take a little while to get this correct so bear with me. Okay so if we shift this around and then make it slightly flatter here that is going to give us a sort of spherical shape with some sort of blobs on the corners and then a circle in the middle. I think this is pretty much the only way that I've personally discovered to do anything that vaguely resembles the circles on BB-8's main body. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to replicate this around the rest of his body. It takes a little while to get these correctly positioned, but once they are correctly positioned, I think they're going to make quite a big difference to how good old BB-8 here looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with this, we're going to put another one here mirroring the front, because he seems to have them in pairs of two on his body, one at the back and one on the opposite side of his body, wherever it is placed. So there we go, we've got another one there. Now one of the major problems with this as well is that you can't place these down on either side, you can only place them on the central line, the line of symmetry passing straight through the middle of his body, which means that we can't do this on the sides of his body, which is a bloody pain in the ass. Thank you Spore for making this very difficult. Cool. But I guess what I can do is put at least one more of these on the bottom part of his body, just a small one here, and then we can try and figure out how to replicate this on the rest of him. But for now I think this is pretty good. So let's just move this out a little bit more so it's a bit more visible. Make the bottom stick out just a tiny bit, give it a bit more detail. The reason we're doing this is basically because he's got sort of like patches of orange in circles on his body and then they've got sort of like a pattern on the inside of silver but I can't really do that so this is the best I can do. Right so next up what we're going to do is the head. Now the head again unfortunately there aren't any spherical shapes like that. Maybe you can create one but I haven't actually found any that look really the right shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of cheat, we're going to lose a bit of definition in the head but there's not so much that we can do about that and we're just going to give him one of these like this. Something like that, that seems a bit big actually doesn't it, maybe a slightly bit smaller like so. Yeah, now he's got sort of a bit of a tilt going on, he's, he's relaxed, he's laying back slightly but you know the drone's head can move in any direction so it doesn't really matter too much. Now before anyone says it looks like a fat snowman, then yes it kind of does, but it's going to come together I'm hoping. Now for the face, we've got an eye, one major eye in the middle of his head. And for this what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these windows. And we're going to rotate this one forwards a little bit like this, and then put it back into his skull like so. And then we're going to colour this later so don't worry about the colour. And then we're going to try and mimic that with some other item over here because he's got sort of a secondary lens over this way. Not really figured out how I'm going to do that quite yet but we're going to go with it. I think it's going to be pretty difficult because there's the symmetry mode in this which makes it kind of tricky. And asymmetry mode, I know you press down A, it's broken in this patch of spore unfortunately so you're going to have to bear with that fact. Next up one of the major features is going to be an antennae on his head. Now he's got one major antennae coming off the sort of side of his head here like so and it's a shame that it's all glowy. We could make it, we're going to make it thinner and I think that's actually about the right length, maybe a little bit shorter than that. In fact we can't even make it shorter so whatever. Well we can actually just make it shorter like this instead. 
Okay, next up he has sort of a slight button mouth. I would I hesitate to call it a mouth, but I'm going to call it a mouth. And it's sort of just a plain old blob. It kind of looks like a bit of a button. So I'm thinking maybe we go for something like this. It depends how small we can make this, actually. Not small enough is the answer. Maybe what we could try and do is merge something into his body so that you can't really see the main portion of it, but you can see a little bit poking out. I'm not sure whether there's anything in here that actually fits either of those criteria. We might just have to go for one of these, but rotate it inwards. So something like this. Yeah, I think that looks okay, actually. So we're going to go for something like that. And I'm wondering whether we can get another one of those on this side of his body. I don't know how we're going to do this eye. I think it's going to be too difficult, and we might have to accept that it's going to be symmetrical. So let's go for maybe this. I think it's going to be a bit of a... a Oh, it doesn't. It the inner Star Wars fan of me it doesn't let me do this. I'd rather not put an eye there than put one there. Oh, I don't know. That's silly. We should definitely put something there. I'm gonna see if I can do something funky with this to give it the impression that there's just an eye sticking out. That kind of looks really terrible, doesn't it? Does that look good? I can't really tell, to be honest. I think that looks better than the alternative, so we're going to just ignore that there's that second one there. We're going to scrub that out of our minds. I might even paint it white so it merges in with the rest of this figure. In fact, I might not be able to do that, but whatever. Okay, so next up is basically trying to figure out how to do these sort of blobs on the side of his body. There's no real easy way of doing this. I think we might have to use maybe a porter hole and then just recolour the centre of it, just to make it look a bit less... Oh, it does. It sticks out far too much, though, doesn't it? I'm now wondering whether we can use something like this on the economic building. So instead of using one of these panels at the front, just use these big starry things. And then what we can do is we can recolour them, and we can curve them back into the model slightly. I mean, obviously it's not the best, but it's better than not having anything at all, right? So we're going to move these down here like this. We're also going to rotate it slightly, and also rotate it again. It is, it is slightly sticking out, but I'm going to have to probably accept this. Okay, it's going to look a lot better once we colour it, I think. So let's start going into the colour creator. I would almost rather have something like this, just a flat pancake on the side, rather than have like a weird sticky outy parts. If it's going to stick out slightly, I think this is probably going to look slightly better. So let's go for this. Let's just imagine that he can only roll forwards. <laughs> We're gonna have to make we're gonna have to use our imagination a lot in this episode, unfortunately. But I'm trying my hardest, damn it. Okay, so let's go into the colour creator. And now what we're going to do is go for a sort of like a patchwork metal, but go for a white colour if we can. Something like this, like a dirty white. Oh god. Okay, with this texture it looks a bit darker than white. Let's go for the whitest that we can. Maybe something like this instead. Yeah, okay, I prefer this. Let's now go a bit darker, make it look a bit mustier if we can. Something like this colour, maybe? Yeah, okay, we'll go for this. And we're going to basically paint all of his body this one single colour, something like this. And all these odd areas we're going to pick up in a second with extra colour, but for now, I think this is fine. Okay, so now we want a nice bright orange colour. And we're going to go for this material this time, with perhaps this colour right here. And we're going to pick up these edges, something like that. I think, in fact, we're going to want something even brighter and darker orange than that if we're using this colour. Maybe go for something a little bit like this. I'm going to pick up these edges as well, and also these ones. And should we pick up anything else? We can't really do any of the head very easily. Maybe these bottoms of the eyes here, like that. And also these uh, little bits of the antennae. And the mouth is also white, so we missed that part, but we'll do that in a second. So there we go. Right. So now, aside from that, we're also going to want to get the white tool out for this. I'm going to colour the mouth white, but maybe give it a little sort of... Maybe we can make it grey instead, just to make it stand out slightly. The eyeballs themselves are also going to be a dark sort of blacky colour. We can give them a nice trim colour, maybe, of something. Maybe something like this. Not really sure on this. Oh god, I wonder what this one looks like on here. So instead of this, I think we're going to colour these grey, because I think these are going to look a bit more detailed if there's a bit of a variation in colour everywhere. Something like this. I think that probably looks slightly better. 
And then we're also going to change the colour of the eye, obviously, because this looks bloody awful. And we're going to go for this one. And we're also going to colour these black here like so. Now there is a little red dot in his eye, so I'm wondering whether there's anything that we can do about that to make it look like there's something there. And the way I'm going to try and do it is using another one of these antennae. And we're going to rotate it around a little bit like this. And maybe do something a little bit like that and then make it smaller. Just to give him that red dot in there. And we're going to go back into the painting creator and get the red tool out and colour that red. Something maybe shinier than that. Something like that. Yeah, okay, I think that looks good. And, oh god, it is vaguely it is, it is resembling BB-8. Not to any great degree, but it kind of looks like BB-8 has gone on a massive, like, binging of chocolate. Because he's kind of short and stumpy. Which I kind of don't appreciate. But you know what, it's fine. We're gonna go with this. BB-8. The cutest damn droid in the universe. Perfect. Now, can we actually test this out? Or is that pretty much it? I think that's it. Because it's a vehicle, we don't have the test run capability. So there we go. There's our BB-8. I hope you've enjoyed it. Oh god, it looks always so much dodgier in this view, doesn't it? Good enough. <laughs> but if you enjoyed today's episode, as always, please feel free to leave a comment and also a rating of any kind because that particularly helps support the series. And be sure to leave your suggestion for next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward, goodbye. Awkward. <laughs>